This is Black Weekend Update. I'm Pia Glenn. President Obama launched the Promise Zones initiative aimed at boosting the economy this week. With further commentary, here is Black Weekend Update's political correspondent, my trifling cousin Yvonne. Um, you know, I would love to commentate on the president's initiative, but first I'm gonna need to address old girl posted up behind my president, Barack to go on Obama looking bored like she's standing on the line of the DMV. On everything, Miss Girl, I don't even know you, but I'm about to read your whole life. Ain't nothing this exciting ever has nor ever will happen to you, Ma. I promise you this. So I'm gonna need to see some receipts on your whole facial expression or lack thereof. You know what? I can't even. Uh, uh. She's my cousin. In meteorological news, much of the country saw temperatures plummet due to a polar vortex, a term many of us had not heard before. Polar windbag Rush Limbaugh took to his radio show to say that the media had, quote, just made it up for this week, unquote. Weather superstar Al Roker took this quite personally, using both Twitter and his gig on the Today Show to prove Rush wrong, citing his own textbook from Weather Person School. Mr. Roker ended his enthusiastic presentation by saying, stuff it. There's no joke here. I would simply like to finish the sentence and take this or any opportunity to say, stuff it, Rush Limbaugh, you know where. In an actress so talented and beautiful she'd be considered A-list if only she were white news, Ingenue Ellis. In sporting news, New York Knickerbocker J.R. Smith was fined $50,000 by the Basketballers Association for untying the shoelaces of his opponent's shoes on two separate occasions. Knickerbocker Smith has commented that he thinks the fine is excessive. Since there's no financial precedent for fining a 28-year-old man with a reported salary of $5.57 million for untying the shoelaces of another grown man not once but twice, I guess they had to wing it. In Can I Touch Your Hair news, no. In television news, model Carmen Carrera and actress Laverne Cox appeared on Katie Couric's talk show this week. Katie asked Carmen and Laverne, who are both transgender women, increasingly invasive and irrelevant questions about their genitalia, repeatedly asking about their different parts. Laverne Cox replied with a stunningly informative smackdown, beginning with the very necessary statement, the preoccupation with surgery objectifies trans people, and ending with a polite educational verbal bitch slap, showing Katie that they do, in fact, have very different parts. Up here. In reality TV news, Bravo premiered a new show this week, Blood, Sweat, and Heels. In entertainment news, BET struck ratings gold with its first ever scripted series, Being Mary Jane. The show follows a... wait. Does that say we got you? Is that their slogan? I mean... Lastly, we remember author, activist, and one-time poet laureate of New Jersey, Amiri Baraka, who passed away this week at the age of 79. Among Mr. Baraka's many notable quotes is this gem. A man is either free or he is not. There cannot be any apprenticeship for freedom. I leave you now with some words from other notable poets of our time. Lazy bone, crazy bone, wish bone, busy bone, and flesh and bone. Bone, 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 bone. We'll see you at the crossroads. This has been Black Weekend Update. I've been Black Pia. See you next time. I can't even, uh.